This is great. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm, are do you? I'm doing great. Are You're you? doing good? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm actually good. We had a tough day yesterday, mm. but today we're good. I think we're, sun is out. Suns are out? Suns are out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at my gums. Ooh, strong. <laughs> so today, what are we gonna be talking about today, Grant? We're gonna be talking about our journey through testicular cancer, how we felt, what the timeline of that was like and what you can do to ensure your own health or the health of a male friend. Yeah, and also we're gonna be telling you guys a little bit of what we've been up to this week. Yeah. Um, super interesting life. Super duper, super duper <laughs> interesting life. We're enjoying the puppies right now. I'm a doing. cat guy, but yeah, dogs I'm are a, good. dogs are great. Welcome to our YouTube channel. journey has been one of the hardest things that we've ever been through. Uh, there was a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of sadness, but we want something positive to come from this experience and we're going to share the timeline of these events with you. It was not fun and it's still some days to this day, like yesterday we had a really tough day ourselves. We're having a tough day today, so we thought that cutting red hair would make us make me a on. better new person. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I don't know why you want me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> lot of collagen right now <laughs> it still happens we're learning to live with it it's becoming part of our daily lives I feel and all during the pandemic yes <laughs> that doesn't help <laughs> for sure so we're gonna be sharing with you guys a timeline of how everything happened it was a 10 month process the first thing that happened was uh, we were in Hamburg I was gonna be at the world championships and I noticed my nipple was hurting I thought maybe I'd open the sideline or something like that. Touch, go, 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 go! Good communication from Saxton and he puts it away. Love the communication saying that he touched it, touch, touch, touch. This is a beautiful volleyball play because Saxton contributes with the touch to slow down the ball. Then O'Gorman puts up a beautiful set and the balance and wherewithal by Saxton to crush that. A couple weeks later, I was in Vienna at another tournament, and I noticed my nipple was getting a little bit bigger. So out of curiosity, I squeezed it, and some liquid came out, and I knew something was wrong. And at that point, I had already scheduled an appointment for him in Vancouver for when he was back. If it wasn't for Isabella, I don't know if I would have gone to the doctor and made this a big deal. Uh, but So I'm very thankful that she was by my side. I went to the doctor in Vancouver. I got ultrasound of my nipple. It came back. Like everything was fine and then we did some blood tests and we found out my testosterone was very high. So Grant stopped supplements for a full month and then tested the testosterone again and the testosterone was even higher. In the winter um, he was recommended for my volleyball cannabis doctor to a sports doctor in Vancouver who asked him multiple times as well as other doctors about steroids and he said that he didn't do it. <sighs> oh. You sure you've never had steroids, Grant? This is all natural, baby. <laughs> Therefore, she was the one that decided to investigate a little deeper, deeper what was going on. So she asked me to go for an ultrasound of my testicles. I put it off for a bit, but then when I went, the guy pressed on my balls pretty hard and stayed on the right side a little bit longer, and I figured something was wrong. So the doctor calls a couple days later and tells me the results. There were three concerning nodules on my right testicle. 
Uh, she asked me to go see a urologist. So the urologist diagnosed Grant with testicular cancer and addressed that the tumor was a bad tumor and that it had to get out right away. So he scheduled the surgery for three weeks later. So that was around April and the surgery was scheduled for May. They also told me that I was uh, pregnant. I tested positive for pregnancy, <laughs> which I knew was probably wrong. It was a changing from me feeling like a superhero, being a great athlete, being strong, being fit, being healthy, to me being super vulnerable and potentially deadly sick. So I had the surgery, it was a success. <laughs> uh, I got the right one removed through a procedure called an orchiotomy. And two days after the orchiotomy, there was something called CT scan, that is to see if the cancer spread or not. And luckily that came back clear. <laughs> so after that, we went to BC Cancer and they told us that it was stage one seminoma, which means that it doesn't look like it spread. And they gave us three options, uh, chemotherapy, radiation, or surveillance. And for my circumstance, it was actually the best to just go with surveillance. So with surveillance, Grant needs to do regular medical exams. So every week he has a blood exam and every three months he has another CT scan. And oh. that was the timeline. Now we're in the present. Now we're in the present today. So I'm still dealing with this haircut Isabella gave me. Doesn't look like she tried that much. Oh, I tried care. so hard. <laughs> I tried so hard. Now we are learning to live with this cancer and the uncertainty of that it may come back. And we're also trying to make some good come of it. Uh, so we have decided to team up with Movember to help spread awareness of men's health. So Movember is a charity that focuses their awareness on prostate cancer, testicular cancer, uh, suicide prevention, and mental health. If you're wondering what you can do as a man and as anybody to be aware of testicular cancer, is make sure you know what's normal. Make sure you're checking yourself at least once a month in the shower, uh, feeling what's normal and what's not. So if you feel any difference, any pain, or any difference in size and shape, or a lump that wasn't there before, make sure you seek, you seek help and go see a doctor or a specialist or anyone you can. Recovery from the surgery has been going very well. Great day, another day, another day at the beach. Yep. Got some gains today. We go, we go, we go, we go. He got up. Uh, I got an incision right here uh, and it is fully healed. I am now allowed to exercise a little bit. In a couple of weeks, I will be able to exercise a little more like an athlete. <laughs> I think Grant really needs to exercise right now. I need now. to get out of the house. He needs to move around. <laughs> I also want to say that if anyone is going to do a tough time with any problem, they can come talk to me. Um, I am more than open to talk to you too. Um, not that I may be a great help, but I'll try. Just a reminder that next week we have something very fun coming up. A fun video. A fun video. So don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, that's what I subscribe. There, and and to like and to comment i think we need to eat right now because we're getting hangry bye <laughs>